Middle East is poised for a huge wave of growth in build out of AI infrastructure in the kingdom as well to serve the demands of the global south. So it's a very exciting time. Saudi Arabia has put AI as a part of its national strategy. And I think that's what's the big differentiator. It's part of its national strategy and it's poised to take a leadership position on the global stage. The Middle East and particularly the kingdom is now one of the top five markets globally for build out of AI infrastructure. So it's definitely ready because of uh, a clear decision to go after this uh, leadership position. We're the physical infrastructure guys. We're providing end-to-end -end solutions to help build the new AI infrastructure. So the entire value chain from, of the electrical distribution, from the connection to the grid, down to the chip level through the, uh, the medium voltage, low voltage distribution net network into the rack distribution as well. And then you need to cool this highly dense infrastructure as well, of course. And for the cooling, it requires uh, both air and liquid cooling as hybrid infrastructure. Liquid cooling is the most sustainable way to cool high compute, uh, well, dense uh, and uh, high compute infrastructure. Behind me, you see Motive Air, which is uh, our flagship offer of liquid cooling, bringing in over two decades of experience of cooling supercomputers and now AI infrastructure. Using liquid to cool infrastructure is not something that is new. Why does it become so important now is because direct to chip liquid cooling is the most sustainable way to dissipate heat that is now in the rack. It's computing a lot, it's using a lot of uh, uh, power, but it's also dissipating a lot of heat, which where liquid cooling becomes very important.